What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Still looking at the Kaizen CTF and now we're moving on to the Zippity Challenge in the Forensic section. Uh, I just wanted to showcase and kind of demonstrate this challenge for you. One that we were able to solve during the competition. The challenge is called Zippity, it's in a Forensics category. And the challenge prompt is my friend sent me this message in this archive but I can't seem to unzip it. Can you help? So, we get the zip archive and I'll go ahead and create it a directory for it. Zip uh, D. Save here. And we'll take a look at this in our terminal. Go ahead and unzip the one we archive that we have. And it says, unzip me if you can, 7-zip. So, okay, 7-zip uh, archive. I know, whoa, it's, it's considered to be data, though. That's weird. I went ahead and used this through my file explorer, so I could just use the archive manager to try and do this for me, just because I don't know a command off the top of my head to use 7-zip. Uh, and an error occurred while loading the, the archive. Holy crap. Okay, this has, has to be the challenge itself here, then. Just being able to unzip the, the archive. Um, it was weird, though, that file saw that it was data. So, um, I'm curious. Does it have the correct, like, header? Does it have the correct um, file magic number for a 7-zip archive? So, I take a look at it. I had a friend just walk in the room. Apologize for my strange delay there. When you open it in a hex editor, you see that interesting thing that the first couple of bytes are 1, 2, 3, 4, which is very clearly not what they should be, or at least we're kind of assuming that, considering it's strictly 1, 2, 3, 4. That's got to be a, a gig. So what we can do is we can take a look at that 7-zip file header. You see it's even in my Google research like stuff here. There's a Google zip file format, and I'm trying to look for what are the magic numbers, and... Okay, it says there are some here. That's not really in a format that I like. Oh, this is just zip. That's not that's not what I want. I wanted seven zip. So file signatures over here. Again, this is something I've looked at before. You can see the the link is is visited. Um, so I Google, I, I search for seven zip, and I get this seven zip compressed file, and it looks like the headers here are three seven seven a b c a f. 271C. So we saw the 271C in here. We see that over here. But now we have to correct this to be the... I'll move back over there and zoom in a bit. 7-zip. Zip. It has to be 377A BC AF and 271C. So we can save that. Control O and we'll name it as uh, whatever we want I suppose win dot 7z oh if it wants to keep it yeah we can save it okay now it's saved i'd use control x or control o to save and write as and now you can see in the ascii portion of it, it does spell out 7z which is what it should be so we can go ahead and now try and unzip this i'll use nautilus again to open it with the file manager and we can finally open it in our archive manager and we can extract out this flag dot text and it is kaizen magic numbers are important so not too difficult, just took a little bit of interesting reconnaissance with the file command to determine that it is um, a data to begin with, but then when we take a look at it in hex, it had initially a strange magic number, the very start of the file's hex bytes. So we can change that to what it should be, according to the file format, being a 7-zip archive, and then we're able to open it up and extract stuff out of it like a normal archive file. So, cool. Keep that in mind, magic numbers are important to actually being able to identify and work with a specific file format. So this looks like a really good table. It has file formats for just about everything. That's that's awesome. So sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um wanna show off that challenge and hopefully a few more. Hope you're enjoying these couple of videos for the Kaizen CTF, and I'll see you in a later video.